Ruby tools? I want those in my game as well. Well, let's see how to add those to Minecraft. All right, we found ourselves back in IntelliJ once more. In this tutorial, we are going to add custom tools to the game with Fabric. So a very and highly requested topic that is actually, it has some pitfalls that you might run into, which is probably the reason some people are struggling, but no worries, let's just start. So in our mod items class, we're going to simply copy over the iron wool and we're going to do that five times. So freaking craziness right here. And we're going to change all of those. So first of all, is going to be the Ruby sword. And then we're going to have the Ruby underscore shovel. And then we're going to have a, a Ruby underscore pickaxe. And then we're going to have a Ruby underscore axe. And then last but not least, we're going to have a Ruby underscore hole, even though it might be the least. And then I actually put the iron wool back up there. And then of course, also don't forget to change the names here as well. So Ruby sword and then Ruby underscore shovel and then Ruby underscore a pickaxe pickaxe and then a ruby underscore axe and last and least ruby underscore hoe because usually the hoe is quite useless but no worries there we're still going to implement that the thing about it is why is this the correct order that we're doing this in well first of all easy enough sword item now we're going to get an error here no worries we will fix that sword item actually if i middle mouse button click and see it's public so no worries there actually works same with the shovel item also works totally fine now, the issue is that pickaxe, axe, and hoe actually need, once again, the mod items. Bummer, I know. And there's also some other things, of course, that we need to implement here. So, first of all, we're just going to make the items here. And then we're also going to have to make a tool material. But I'm going to explain that once we get there. So, in the, not the custom block package, but the custom item package, right-click Java class. And that's going to be the mod axe item let's say there you go and then extends the axe item and then hover over this again and make, create constructor matching super and we're going to make this public there you go and then we're going to do the same thing for the pickaxe as well pickaxe item and this extends the pickaxe item and once again just hovering over this create constructor matching super there you go and then a public here as well and then last and least the whole of course again mod whole item extends whole item and then create constructor matching super changing this to public and then we can use those three classes so the pickaxe here so this is going to be the mod mod pickaxe item and then this is the mod x item and then last year the mod whole item there you go right and once we've done this we can actually you know hover over this and see what the actual constructor requires and as you can see it first of all requires a tool material and then some attack damage and attack speed and then the settings now the tool material is very interesting because we actually have to make our own tool material but this is actually far easier than you might expect so inside of the item package, right click new Java class, and this is going to be the mod tool material. And this is going to implement a tool material right here from net Minecraft item. And this is also going to change to an enum. And then instead of hovering over this, we're going to middle mouse button click on this and then press control H. And then we can see the tool materials here. So those are basically the already done materials from vanilla, as you can clearly see. And what we're going to do is we're basically just going to copy over the entire file here because that is going to make it way easier for us. So basically paste that in here and then we're going to get a few errors the reason is because of this guy so we simply have to change this to mod tool material and then all of a sudden all of the errors will go away easily so why are we doing it like this well the idea is that it's going to be the same either way so the tool material is going to look pretty much the same for any mod where you want to add custom tools and so we can basically just copy this over and the other added benefit is that you actually get to see the vanilla values for some of those things so for example we could say well how good is a is the ruby tool material and we could for example then say okay let's actually replace the iron one with it so the mining level might be fine was like yeah it's the same mining level as iron but maybe we want to say well you know what but it's kind of as good as diamond in terms of the durability and then you could say well it actually also is good with the speed but maybe it's not that good with attack and but you can actually enchant it quite well so maybe you get the 24 here and then we can simply put something else in here as well so this is of course off items and then we simply say mod items ruby so this is going to be the thing that you can repair this tool with and the rest we can now de safely delete so up here we can delete this and here we can delete this as well now we need to end this with a semicolon and if you want to add 
new mod materials, then between the materials, so if this is renamed something different, so between the materials you need a comma, and then the last one needs a semicolon. This is a simple and normal enum, basically. This is how any enum would really look like, but this is something that some people also have struggled with, so I wanted to mention that as well. Right, and now in the mod items class, we can now use that, so mod tool material dot ruby, and then we need to supply it the attack damage as well as some speed, and then there you go. So those are the four parameters of the sword item, and actually all the tools have the same four parameters, so we can basically copy this, including the comma there, and then simply paste that in, and make a new line here, so something like that. All of the code is of course also available in the GitHub repository or in individual gists as well. And then, you know, some of those values might change. So for example, the shuttle might have a zero here and the axe item might actually have a four, but there may be a minus one for the attack speed and so on and so forth. And then the pickaxe, you know, probably has a zero here as well. And then, however, the axe might have a plus four for the attack damage and a minus. And then the hoe is just going to be a zero zero because, well, it is a hoe. Playing around with the numbers is something that you definitely have to do on your own. So you just have to get a little bit of a feel. Okay, how, how well is this? How well is this? So to balance everything, that is definitely requires some fine tuning of the numbers. But that is always something you can very easily change because, of course, the numbers, you can just change them fairly easily. And then there's actually another step that we have to do. And that is adding those to certain tags. So once again, we have, of course, seen the tags pretty much uh, just uh, last time as well. That was sort of the uh, general addition as well. Now we actually need to add some new tags as well. So in the data folder, right click directory called fabric. And then in the fabric directory, a new directory called tags. And then in there, another directory called items and then we get to create our tags so right click new file and this is going to be the axis.json and i will simply quickly copy over the contents for a moment so this is a normal tags file like we've seen already and this now includes our ruby axe here so that should be fairly straightforward then we can of course also do pick axis so this is always in plural by the way so pick axe here to reference the item and then we can get the others as well so then we have hose which is going to reference the ruby hole and then we have the uh, shovels as well which is going to be the ruby shovel and then last but not least we're also going to have the swords which is going to be the ruby swords so that's very important otherwise the you know game will not recognize that this is an axe or a pickaxe or whatever so this is basically the tool type you need to add those into the tags there as well and then it's going to work now of course just like with any other item, we also want the item models. Now, I will copy those quickly over because they simply point to a normal texture. So there's nothing really fancy going on with them. Of course, they are also available for you for download, either via the GitHub repository or via individual gists as well. So as you can see, it simply points to a normal texture here. Nothing too crazy. And those textures are, of course, also available, which I will also quickly just copy over right here so those five textures there you go and let's not forget to add the translation as well there you go that is the magic of editing just quickly added this i'm sounding like a broken record player but everything of course available for you to download or for you to copy over because sometimes these you know little things sometimes tedious to type out but now after having added all of this let's see if it works all right we found ourselves in micro and as you can see the tools have been added to the game so no worries there. So let's switch to survival mode and let's see if they actually work. And as you can see, I can use the axe here. And if I, you know, try to use the hoe, that doesn't work. I can, however, right click with the hoe. I can also right click here to make the stripped versions of the logs. I can also right click for the path. And this also works way better in the for those blocks right here. Then if I put in gold ore, because we've put this to iron the gold ore works if i were to however try to basically mine obsidian that would not work the harvest level of this tool type is only two so it only goes up to iron so yeah right and that is actually how easy it can be to add custom tools like i said there are a few things that you need to keep in mind mainly the tags which is one of the things that people sometimes forget or just don't know about basically and that you just have to keep in mind and then it will work fine from there but that would already be it for this tutorial right here i hope you found this useful and you learned something new i would of course appreciate a like if you did and i will see you in the next tutorial so yeah 